thank you ray lutz with citizens oversight and coalition to decommission san onofre. thank you chip for having the podium on your lectern up here for us to speak at instead of running running around the room first of all i want to tell you that there are three things that are really disappointing about human beings lies damn lies and generic environmental impact statements this is how this is how human beings have learned to lie to themselves somehow you put enough words in a document you say that things are small and now we're confident that we're okay now let me tell you how this lying is done risks are underestimated uh, consequences are very large though the consequences are huge we don't even know how bad these consequences are we have to all move out of the area the probability is real real low but not zero so that will happen somewhere over thousands of years it's going to happen Accidents happen. This is what J. Gregory Yasko said, the former NRC um, chair, I guess he is. Um, he said all the nuclear reactors in the United States should be shut down. This was a former chair of the NRC. Nuclear energy is not clean, even though you hear that here from people, shills that come in from the industry. It is not reliable. The thing has been shut down. It goes, they go out all the time. We had a blackout in San Diego because, partly because of San Onofre. It is not needed in California. We have 156% of the energy that we need, and 20% is nuclear. You can just get rid of it, we're fine. All plants should be shut down. So we need to get the confidence that we need is to get rid of operating nuclear plants, number one. Because we have a big problem. We have to lie about the fact that all these problems are small. The, the um, fuel pools at Fukushima, there is one that's just about to go down that they're desperately trying to save. Part of what this talks about is fuel pools, that they're safe in, in seismic conditions. Bullshit. Okay? This is what this whole document is talking about. That's in there. Um, they are not hardened. The roof of the fuel pool, it can plank and go right through it. And then splash the water out and be a disaster. Seismic concerns. Um, we don't know how big the earthquakes can be. We risk don't. We've only been around for so long. They keep going up. What's possible? Mexico just had a 7.5. This is only designed for 7.0. It can happen way over. Just because NRC says a plant shows that it's supposed to be designed to withstand a maximum quake doesn't mean it's designed that way. It doesn't mean it would withstand it. Just because it says it. This is what this says. And you know, the problem with this is they're putting this out, we're supposed to be confident, and that means that all of these plants will have permanent nuclear waste dumps next to them that we can't stop. Because it's already there. Songs already has it. This is just a piece of crap that we're supposed to feel good about because it's already over there and we can't stop it. And this is supposed to make us feel confident for some reason. What does it do? Why is it making them feel? Does it at all? And we know, we, the, the word is out. NRC is lying and we're not gonna believe it anymore. These have to go, we have to move the fuel out of this sensitive area. 